Hi guys, welcome to Sketch Note. I'm Nishtha, and in today's update, I'm thrilled to showcase some really exciting additions and enhancements to the time tracking feature that will take your productivity to the next level. Now you must be wondering, uh, what else can we do with an already power pack feature? Well, you'll be surprised, just like I was when this feature was announced. So let's get straight into it, and I'll tell you all about it. Now, as you can see, I'm on the timesheets tab that you can find on the left of your screen. All right, so let me quickly tell you about what's the headline and what's new over here. We've added the ability to manually track your time on Sketchnote now. That's right. You can now use the add time log button to actually uh, track time that you may have spent working on tasks, maybe offline, maybe, um, you know, when there was no internet connection, when where you, where you were on the field and maybe working on site or working at the client's office, you'll now be able to track this time retrospectively and uh, never missing out on any other, you know, uh, ever missing out on any time that needed to be accounted for and you hadn't because you could not switch on and switch off the timer. So let me tell you quickly how this works. You need to click on the add time log button. All right, over here, there's a nice pop-up uh, where you can select a task here. Say, I'm gonna say, ask Andy to be a co-founder. You can say, uh, I need um, one hour and one minute I spent on this task on 3rd April, all right? Um, and you can add a small description over here, uh, more about that in just a little bit, but let me tell you about it. You can add a description over here saying, meeting in coffee shop. And that should be all. You can simply hit add time log and it will it will be added to your, um, you know, timesheets over here. And your descriptions will also be visible right here. So uh, I'll tell you more about it uh, right now, right? So let's talk about the descriptions, all right? You already saw the ability to add a description into the manual task. Uh, task uh, time uh, timing of the task and now let me tell you about uh, what you can do when you're normally tracking time also well we've added the ability to track time uh, and a description here as well so now when you're tracking your time you can actually add detail over here collaborate with influencers uh, speaking to just rain all right so this is uh, then you can switch on the timer over here after adding your description and basically you will know when uh, you spend time on what task exactly even the smaller breakdown of if you're speaking to 10 influencers which influencer did you track these many minutes on all of that is now going to be visible so accountability is a huge thing um, now like basically this these descriptions uh, will be a game changer for you to know when you're invoicing, when you're tracking time as a whole, having a discussion with your team about where exactly time goes. And the best part is that all of this information that you're tracking with the description are all exportable. So when you actually export your sheet, you will be able to see exactly what was spent, where exactly, and um, raising invoices, etc., become like an absolute breeze with uh, this description feature. Now, there is also the option of filtering your task to be able to see things better. But we already had a filter task, right? So what's new over here? Well, we've added a centralized filter over here, which means that you no longer have to scroll left or right to find the filter for the like respective column that you wanted to um, you know, clear out and see. For example, if you wanted to see who logged the time, etc., you don't have to go all the way here and then switch on the filter. You can now select the filter over here and basically filter out exactly what you need very, very quickly with this one button right over here. Uh, for example, if I want to say assignee, I'm going to say, all right, cool, let me go with unassigned people. No problem at all. If I want to see uh, what file this unassigned person is on, etc., I can actually see, let's say, I want to say plan and let's automate. Apply done. So you can filter over here with one button and you know exactly where the filter button is. So you don't need to go hunting for it any longer. And now uh, there is one more surprise uh, for all our users that are using Windows machine. We've implemented horizontal and vertical scrolls on every single page. So you can now scroll through left and right absolutely easily, making navigation a lot clearer and simpler uh, and getting access to relevant information without having to use your keyboard buttons anymore. We want to give out a shout out to Atul Dhakapa of Xenia Consulting and Tensai for being such awesome people and giving us massive feedback that has gone into making this week's update uh, uh, an absolute stellar show. 
so if you do have suggestions that can help streamline workflow better for your team or any other agency that works on sketch notes please feel free to drop us a mail or a comment uh, and uh, or even send us a pigeon doesn't matter we will be on top of that and get work done really quickly so uh, we are happy to look into your suggestions and your comments keep them coming and uh, also when you start using these features we'd love to know what you think about these so we love feedback on that end also and that's it for this week so until next time this is me nishtha signing off see you later